You think this island is all there is. Everything that could possibly exist exists on this island. Then one day you find the ocean. You have no idea what it is or that it was even there. But suddenly your world has opened and you realize this island you've known your whole life is only a fraction of what's out there. That's exactly what it was like for astronomers about a hundred years ago, only on a much, much larger scale. They realized that everything they thought was everything, chairs, chopsticks, chihuahuas, makes up less than 5% of the universe. Around 27% is something called dark matter, which we'll get to in a bit, but the bulk of it is dark energy. Dark energy makes up around 68% of our universe, but what is it? Well, the short answer is we don't no, it's invisible and we haven't been able to detect it yet. So how do we know it's there? I mean, saying something we have no idea what it is makes up more than half of the universe is a pretty bold claim. Well, we need to start the story where all stories start at the beginning of the universe. Once upon a time, the universe was a tiny, infinitely dense speck. One day, there was a big bang, which we now call the Big Bang and the universe exploded outward in a burst of energy and has been expanding ever since. But all the while, gravity is quietly working against the expansion, oh so gently pulling back at the edges of the universe. Astronomers studying this naturally assumed that gravity was slowing the expansion rate down, but when they measured it, they found the most incredible thing. It was actually speeding up. Something else was there, a driving force that's pushing everything apart working against the force of gravity. This driving force is what physicists call dark energy. And that's all we really know about it. It's causing the universe to expand faster than ever before. It's kind of like gravity's evil, slightly more athletic twin. While gravity pulls everything back in, dark energy pushes everything back out and wins by a lot. We may still be in the dark about dark energy, but that doesn't mean scientists don't have some ideas. The leading theory is that dark energy is created from empty space. Yes, empty space. And yes, that is the leading theory. According to quantum physics, empty space contains an energy called a vacuum energy, and it's causing space time to expand. In fact, string theorists don't find it surprising that dark energy exists. What they do find surprising is that there's so little of it. Now, when I heard that they thought there was so little of it out there, my first reaction was 68% seems like a pretty big chunk. But then when you think about all the empty space that's out there, it does kind of seem on the low side. Turns out it's a bit more than just on the low side. Physicists think there should be a factor of a Googleplex more dark energy than the expansion of the universe accounts for. In case you don't know what a Googleplex is, it's a one followed by a hundred zeros. I just wanted to say Googleplex. Googleplex. <laughs> to put this into perspective, the estimated number of atoms in the universe is a one followed by 85 zeros. This is one of the big questions of cosmology and people have come up with various theories like defining new forces or special fields that permeate space and vary with time. Unfortunately, testing these theories is difficult and they're still in the very early stages of development. Just like it took centuries to figure out that lightning wasn't created by a bearded guy wearing a dress, it may take many more centuries to truly come to grips with the nature of dark energy. Speaking of things we haven't come to grips with yet, what about the remaining piece of the universe pie? What's the story there? My friend Dom from Everything is going to tell you guys a bit more about that slice. Over to you, Dom. Hi, Jade. So the remaining 27% of the universe is made up of stuff called dark matter. That's five times the amount of normal matter. Astronomers first noticed it when they observed something odd about the way galaxies were spinning that just didn't make sense. However, it's invisible. And so far, we haven't been able to detect it. So how do we even know it's there? 
Head over to the video on Dom's channel, Everything, to find the answer to that question, plus a whole bunch of other really... So, dark energy. As the universe expands, so dark energy and dark matter. They're saying as the universe expands, there's something that's keeping it, that's holding it together, but it's still expanding very rapidly, but not coming apart. Okay, this is, this is the science. They don't understand why it's, how can it move so fast, but still stay together, okay? It's the yin and yang. As one moves out, the other pulls back in, but it does, it, it, it's working in unison. It allows it to grow, but also holds it together so that you don't, okay, yeah, you can grow, but don't go out of control. So these are, these are the two forces that are working together. So, and one, one would be the particle, the manifestation of the energy. One is the energy, and then one is the particle, the manifestation of the energy. And that's the dark matter. And then what we get out of regular matter comes from dark matter. The very few, the little bit of matter that we get in the world comes from the dark matter. And this is all, and this is, this goes from high vibration. The vibrations start to slow, 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 slow until it moves very slowly. Then you get matter. Matter is the slowest vibration. So what is dark energy? Dark energy would, could be considered as infinite potential. Okay. From which we draw from, we're constantly creating. We're constantly creating new things, moving out. That's why the universe is expanding because we're expanding. We're constantly thinking of new stuff and creating and putting things together from old stuff and, and moving on and you grow and you grow and you grow. That's what's supposed to happen. You're supposed to be more than what you were before. That's, <laughs> again, it was a play on words, but we understood what we were doing. We're constantly, that's why that, and when you look up Egyptians and you see that most Egyptians, they stand with that one foot forward because you're constantly changing and moving throughout the universe. So dark energy is basically the infinite field of potential that you draw from to create. And that's why they don't understand what it is. It's because it constantly gets more, the more and more we create, the more and more energy that gets put out there, the more and more energy it grows because there's more energy to draw from. Once you create, make a new creation, then there's more energy to draw from that to create something new. That's why it's like, okay, well now we got this creation, but we can, all right, this is new. We can draw from this. Put it with this and then create something else and that's why it's constantly expanding because we are our thoughts are constantly expanding and growing so again dark energy would be basically infinite potential for creation then once it gets to dark matter that's when it becomes the building blocks for creation and then matter is the creation itself